Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review, updated review 2021 on the Keurig K Cafe. This is a latte and cappuccino maker. Model number K84, it retails for $200. This is the special edition nickel color. They also sell one identical to this, but it's black. It's, it sometimes can be cheaper, but sometimes they put this one on sale. So this is where my Keurig uh, journey started. This was my first Keurig. I absolutely loved it. It makes some really good drinks and I'm, I'm still glad I've got it. And I still make quite a few drinks around the winter time with it. So today I'll be showing you the features. I'll be making a latte and a cappuccino. I've got some K cups. I've got my white chocolate uh, syrup, my Hershey syrup and some milk. So the first thing you're gonna notice is this thing has a milk frother. This is the best part of this whole entire machine is this milk frother right here. This enables you, it's got two lines in there. It's got a cappuccino line and a latte line. But it, it's got this frother that, so this little black thing here is like a swirler. And it sits on there, on this little thing right there. And then the machine uses some kind of magnetic force to, to swirl that when it's installed in the machine. But cleanup is so simple with this. There's no electrical components on the milk for on this side so you can wash this because if we all know with milk frothers um, the milk kind of stains and you got to wash it and some of the ones that have electrical connections you can't wash them very well that's the best part it's got a lid the milk frother has its own controls we can do a cold latte or a cold cappuccino or just if we press the button it's just a hot latte and hot cappuccino and it will heat the milk as it froths it and there's where it sits on So over here, we've got, we've got kind of a standard Keurig machine. It's got the single needle at the top that's gonna to pierce the cake up and a needle down there that's gonna pierce the bottom needle. But here's where it stands out. We've got a, a coffee button and a latte button. So consider this, if you wanna do just, so this can be a regular coffee maker. If you don't wanna do a latte and a cappuccino, just simply hit the coffee button and now it lights up to six, eight, 10, and 12. I can brew a coffee cake up on any one of these settings. And it's a, it acts just like a normal Keurig. And you just press the center button and it brews it. I even have a strong brew. I can do a strong coffee on the coffee side. Now let's turn it off and turn it back on. This is where the machine is different. We've got this latte button and we've got this shot button. So if I come up here and hit the latte button, it automatically lights the strong light and the shot light and the K button's ready to brew. Now what's gonna happen is when I put my coffee cake up in here, it's gonna brew two ounces through that coffee cake up to give me like an espresso shot. Now it's not gonna be a true espresso shot. It's gonna be a really strong concentrated coffee, but it does taste good when you do froth milk into it for a cappuccino and a latte. I can also just come up here, so when it, I got, I can come up here and just hit the shot button. When it's sitting there, when you, I can hit the shot button, and then it lights the, the K button, the strong button. I can't deselect this. It always is selected. It just wants me to hit the brew button. It's got a nice water tank. I like the handle. So it does not come with a water filter. It takes a tall handle Keurig water filter if you want to put a water filter on there and it'll just go on there and it snaps onto that black ring down at the bottom. And then down here, we got this metal drip tray. The overall appearance of this machine, it, it can be a little big, but it looks really nice. So left to right, it's almost 14 and a half inches. Front to back is about 10 and a half. And with the handle up, it's almost 17 inches, but it fits under a kitchen cabinet just fine. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna do a, a latte, then a cappuccino, then I'll do a coffee. Now you can do it either or. You can froth the milk first, pour it into your cup, and then brew your, your uh, espresso shot into it, or you can brew the espresso shot, pour it into your, your milk. All right, so I'm gonna do a cappuccino. Again, there's a cappuccino line. That's four ounces of milk, and the latte line is six ounces. And this will froth all kinds of milk. It does struggle with some of the more fancier milks, but it does do almond milk, soy milk, skim milk. I'm using 2% milk. It'll do whole milk. So just fill it up to that line right there. 
close this. There's really no way to, this can kind of rotate, but just make sure this is installed. And you're simply going to come up here and hit the cappuccino line. Now it does beep at you. And it automatically starts frothing. Now, since I didn't hit the cold button first, that's going to warm up. So be careful. That will be hot, but it is going to heat that milk as it froths it. This takes about a minute and a half to froth that milk, which is pretty quick. Okay, so it does kind of beep at you when it's done. We're gonna take it out. There's your froth. And just, I like to dump it in there right away. Now this has a lot of, of foam at the top. Then we're gonna put it underneath here. Now I'm gonna get my coffee cake up. Again, you can just, you just use a coffee cake up. You're gonna put it in here. You can hit the latte button. The shot light is lit and just hit the K button. It's going to brew that two ounce espresso shot into your froth milk. And it starts to brew within about five, 10 seconds. There we can see the two layers. The foam's at the top and the hot milk is at the bottom. Again, that's only two ounces of really concentrated coffee but it does mimic the taste of a, of a kind of an espresso shot. So you can drink it just like that. We can see our, our two layers. The drink does cool off pretty quick. We can put our thermometer in. And down at the bottom, we're about 130, 120. Down at the bottom, as you go up, it gets a little hotter. That's the different layers, about 150. So at this point, you can add your syrups of any kind. You can even add your liquid syrups. These come in sugar-free, all different flavors. It doesn't take a whole lot. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of white chocolate and then one tablespoon of Hershey syrup. And then I like to mix mine in. It does, again, these cool off really quick. I've got several videos on all kinds of different drinks. You can make a pumpkin spice latte. So I had like to add just a little bit of whipped cream and then drizzle just a little bit of, of syrup on top just to give it kind of a look. So there you've got kind of a white chocolate mocha that tastes really good. And you can just play around with the different syrups. Get it till you like the taste of it. These, these, you can make some really, really good drinks. Now here's the best part. So let's go clean this frother up. We're gonna just rinse it out. So if you're in a hurry, you can just rinse it out and then we're ready to use it again. This is dishwasher safe, but I would take that black thing out. Don't put that in the dishwasher. Okay, so now let's do a latte. Let's fill it up to the latte line. This is six ounces of milk. Okay, so I've got it filled up. Put your lid on. And now just hit the latte button. Or, I'm sorry. Okay, so cancel that. I hit it again. I hit the wrong button. Just hit the latte button. If you want to stop it early, just hit the button. It will stop it. So now I hit the latte button. It starts spinning it. It's going to heat it up. There's, there's two more ounces of milk in there, so it does take a little bit longer. And again, if you wanted cold, just press cold first and then the latte or the cappuccino button. It does not heat it, but it froths it the same. Here's our coffee cake up. I just took it out. It pierced the bottom and pierced the top. Okay, so it beeps at you twice. There it is, we'll put that back. We'll put it underneath here. Now I'm gonna get just a, any coffee cup that I want I'm going to put it in. I'm going to use a Starbucks Fall Blend ground coffee. Now I can just come up here and hit the shot button. It lights the latte button. It does the same thing as if I hit the latte button. Strong, the shot light's lit, and then just hit the K button. That brews the espresso shot. So we can see we got quite a bit more milk with the latte. We still do have quite a bit of froth though. Now 
Now the machine is kind of loud. When it, when it finishes brewing, it does have to kind of boil some water on the inside, so it is a little bit loud. But again, there's your separation. So with this, you could take some of that froth off. I like this, let's do a vanilla latte. I like to do two tablespoons, which is basically two dumps. So one, two. Again, this is sugar-free and it tastes really good. I like to stir it up. And then you don't have to add whipped cream. You can, you can add some if you want, but it tastes really good just like that. There you have a vanilla latte. So there is a little trick some people do. So say you froth your milk and say you want a little bit more than two ounces. So put your coffee cake up in. You can do a coffee. Some people will do a coffee strong and six ounces. Now granted, six ounces is quite a bit more than two ounces when we do the espresso shot. But some people do like that six ounces brewed into their lattes. Let's just brew it into this one that we have. So if you're really wanting more of a coffee taste, but again, six ounces is quite a bit. So there you have it. Then to get the, cut, the cake up out, be careful, this can be hot. You just wanna grab it. Now again, for a coffee maker side, let's just put a coffee cake up in. Let's hit coffee. I do my coffees on eight ounces and then brew. So this is a pretty standard Keurig when, he comes, when it comes to coffee. It does have a bold setting, which is nice, but this is just a standard eight ounce coffee which is brewed at right around 192. So you end up with a really hot cup of coffee. 173. But really you're not buying this machine for the coffee maker side. That, I like having the coffee maker side available, but this machine really shines is with the frother. This is, I've rated this one of the best frothers. It does heat the milk up pretty good. The cold one does really good. I'm not gonna do a cold one, but you simply just hit the cold button. It lights up cold, and then you hit the latte. But I'm gonna cancel it. Again, I've got several, I've got a, a playlist with all the different drinks you can make with this. It is absolutely amazing how many drinks you can make with this. And play around with it. You're gonna find some that taste really good. Like this one I made here, I put one tablespoon of vanilla or white chocolate and one tablespoon of Hershey syrup. It tasted delicious. And then this one here, this is if you add, you want to add a six ounce coffee shot to it, but normally a shot is just two ounces. So I tried to keep this quick. Um, I'll put a link to all this in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on a link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from the clicks. I do buy all my own products with my own money. So it's a way of supporting my channel. Again, this is an updated video, 2021. I did one a couple years ago. Um, absolutely love this machine. It is a really, really nice machine. I suspect they might be putting it on sale this, this Christmas. This would make a very good gift. Um, if it works, it works. If it fails, it usually fails right away. And Keurig has really good customer support. They will replace it if it does fail. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.